every day for the past seven years. Ready to go? I'm ready to go if you're ready. Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. sharp. Morning, April. Joseph Yanez loads his truck with water. All right. Food, clothes, backpacks, and hygiene kits to deliver to the homeless on the streets. To instruct them to come back over here. I will give them the sack lunches from these boxes first. There, there's so, so much need out there that sometimes I feel that we cannot need it. This is the encampment we left with 55 gallons of water yesterday. We're gonna form a little line right here. Then afterwards, go to the back of the van. I'll be there and I'll give you your other goods. There you go. So, uh, we do have dog food, cat food. You need to talk to uh, Mr. Travis. You are, you're so welcome. The needs become more critical with the summer months looming. And we know all too well that the Arizona heat can be absolutely brutal. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Lip balm, small umbrellas, water bottles. Those are gonna be the dire need once we start hitting 100 plus. And we're down to less than half a box. Total count here was 15. Oh, on summer it takes the, the, takes the toll. The winter, the, the spring, no. No, once that summer comes, comes upon us, that is gonna be a very damaging uh, season for those that live out there. What we have available in the van right now, by the time it's 9.30, we're gonna have zero products. And so sometimes we gotta make runs back to restock. That's just Arizona for us. Uh, and we wanna be prepared to meet the need. This is uh, Taro's. It's a behavioral health center. It's one of our interagency agreements to come down and help them out there as they wait for their their services. Okay. You, do you have shoes? I do. Well, I get these new ones because I woke up this morning and I was gone, man. I was like, brutal. You know, I myself like to have a change of clothes every day. And some of these individuals don't have that opportunity. Last year, numerous individuals died in the relationship of dehydration. It exceeded the numbers prior to 2022. As a result, the water truck will run seven days a week through the summer months of June, July, and August. After this, we're going to be going down any school road by the canal. How long is this in camp? Forever. They come and go. Good morning. How you doing? The crew is also starting a campaign called Join the Effort to Save Lives. And they're asking for your help in donating hats, light-colored shirts, shorts and tennis shoes. I'm not going to sit and wait for the time to boom, let's start. I'm starting now. And the reason I like to start now is for the fact that sometimes whatever we need does not arrive on that day of takeoff. Here's your sack lunch. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you for everything. We helped out a little less than uh, 96, I think it was 96 individuals. We are out of food, we have two cases of water, and very limited hygiene kits and shirts. On a day like this, it's go back to shop and uh, restock up and go back out. A second water truck will also be running during the summer months. Caring is, is giving, and if we can't give, then it means that we don't care.